Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It, and today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little DIY shaker tags. So if you watched my recent video on how to make the DIY shaker bookmarks, this is very similar. I just wanted to show you one more little craft that you could make with the same little fuse tool and the other supplies that I used for the bookmarks. The only thing I really added this time were some super cute little die cuts which I think you're really gonna love and I'll link those in the description below this video. These tags would be super cute to use as gift tags or just to hang on hooks or doorknobs in your home for some cute little home decor. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these were the little die cuts I was talking about. I have multiple packages. Here's another one of them, but it just comes with all different things. So this one package already had these pre-cut tags inside of there as well as this cute little scalloped floral thing. So I'm just gonna put craft tape on the back. You wanna cover it completely so that glitter doesn't get stuck behind it and I'm just going to tape the little floral design on top of the pre-cut tag. So you can make your own tag if you have scrapbook paper but since this was already here in pre-cut I'm using this. It's super cute and it's already looking great the way it is. So now we're just going to get our little clear sheets like we did with the bookmarks. These little fuse sheets and if this is going too fast for you you can go back and watch the bookmark video if you're not familiar with how to use the fuse tool but you really just put this little tag in between the two clear sheets and you're going to use your fuse tool to go around the edges of the tag now remember you want to leave the top open so that you can add the little glitter or sequins confetti whatever you're putting in there so i'm just going to roll it around three edges and then flip it over and fuse the back to make sure it's fused really well and you can run your finger along it to, and you can feel. If it's fused, you'll be able to feel the little bumps of the fused area. If it feels smooth, you need to go ahead and do it one more time. And like I said in the bookmark video, just make sure that you leave the little tip of the fuse tool rolling constantly. You don't want it to linger too long in one spot because it will burn a hole right through the plastic. So just do it slowly, having the little tip of the fuse tool rolling constantly. And then go ahead and once it's fused, just cut around the sides on the other side of the fuse line and you're ready to add your glitter. Okay, now is the fun part when you add all the glitter that you want. I like to add uh, different sizes. So this is some really fine silver glitter. And then I'm gonna add uh, some chunkier purple pink stuff and some little gold and silver stars. And so I kinda just add whatever I want. And then if I look and it just seems to be too much, you can always take some out. So I'm gonna kinda shake this in there and see how it looks, mix it all together. It's a lot, so I'm gonna dump a tiny bit out. Just You wanna be able to see the little design on the floral pattern or whatever you have on your tag. You wanna be able to see it a little bit. And then once you get the glitter to be the right amount and it looks the way you want it to, then we could just go ahead and fuse the top of it so that it's fused all the way around. And sometimes when you get ready to fuse, you'll notice that there's glitter in the way of where the fuse tool needs to go. So go ahead and just use your finger to move it out of the way. Otherwise, it's going to make it really hard to fuse it all the way close. So just go around the edge now. We're finishing off the top so that way none of this glitter will get out of the little tag. It'll stay where it's supposed to. Just like before, go ahead and fuse the back as well and then cut off the extra plastic, making sure that you don't cut through the fuse part at all. And I already know that I want to add some cute little mini tags right where the eyelet's going to be, like the little yellow and orange one you see right here in the picture. And since there was nothing quite like this in the little die cut packages I got, I'm just going to go ahead and make my own. So I'm just going to trim down some scrapbook paper, really thin. You can do whatever size you want. It just needs to be wide enough to cover the hole where the eyelet's going to go. So I'm going to do two different colors, orange and yellow, cutting them to the same width. And then I'm just gonna trim them the length that I want them. Guys, you can do this however you want. You don't even have to add anything like this. I just thought it'd be something cute and a little decorative touch up by the eyelet. So I'm just gonna trim them. I'm kind of just doing this freehand and I'm gonna cut the little um, bottom shape to kind of make it like a little ribbon. And so I'm just cutting this freehand. It does not have to be perfect, just to add a little bit of decoration. And so now I'm just kind of holding everything up there together I know I wanna add like a little decorative something on the top right corner. And so I'm just kind of trying to add things while I'm holding it all together to see what it's gonna look like. So I didn't really pre-plan out what I was gonna use for this. So it kind of means that I'm sorting through everything trying to see if I can find what I want. I think I'm gonna to have to open this new package to get some more options in here. All of the little butterflies and stuff in the other package were kind of too small, but I think something like a bigger flower would look cute up there. So let's see. I kind of think I'm liking that first uh, little yellow flower the best right there. It's bigger, it kind of covers up more of the little empty area up there and then the tags can go off to the other side. Okay, and now as I'm getting ready to do the eyelet setter, 
you want to make sure that you have the tags both covering the hole completely because when we go ahead and punch the hole where the eyelet's going to go, you want the hole to go right through these tags where it needs to. Okay, make sure the tool is set to the hole punch part and then I'm going to flip the tag over because the back of the tag already has a hole in it and I'm going to go right through that hole. There we go and I have punched it through the tags and now just get your eyelet ready so that we can put the eyelet right through the hole. And now to do the eyelet, we put the eyelet right through the hole and then on the little tool up there, the eyelet setter, you're going to slide it over to the eyelet setting one and you're gonna slide it right in there and set the eyelet and squeeze it together and you are good to go. Now all we need to do is tape our little flower up at the top right just using this little die cut. I'm just gonna put tape just on the bottom. You don't want tape in the part that's not touching anything. So just tape the bottom of it and attach it to the top of the little tag. And now we just need to add some little baker's twine for it to hang from. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a super long piece of baker's twine and stick it through the eyelet. And I'm actually going to stick it back through the eyelet two more additional times. I kind of want it to look really chunky up there and have a few pieces going through the eyelet. Okay, now that I've looped the baker's twine through the eyelet a few times, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot at the very top of the tag. It's gonna hold it really firm up there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and measure about three to three and a half inches and tie another knot at the very top. This is making a loop for it to hang from. So you're gonna have a knot at the top of the tag, right, kind of above where the eyelet is, and then leave about three to three and a half inches and tie a knot at the top. I'm sorry that I did this off camera. I was concentrating on measuring it correctly and tying a knot, but I am cutting the end right here, and right there you have like a little three, three and a half inch little loop for it to hang on something. Now I'm just getting another piece of long baker's twine. I'm gonna tie a little bow right at the top where that knot is, the knot that I put at the very top of the tag. I'm gonna put a little bow up there just to have another little decorative touch and something just to add a little bit more interest. And once you have the bow all tied perfectly, you can just go ahead and trim the ends to whatever length you want. They can be super long or super short. It is totally up to you. Okay guys, so that's the finished shaker tag. It's super cute. You can see the glitter moving around inside of there. It has the little loop that's all ready for you to hang it on a gift, on a hook, on a doorknob, wherever you wanna put it, it's ready to go. Now guys, this video did go a little bit fast. If you have more questions about how to use the fuse tool or how to set an eyelet, or use any of the supplies and tools that I use, please check out the DIY shaker bookmark video. It's the video right before this one, and I definitely go slower and more in depth on how to use the fuse tool, how to use the eyelet setter. That way you know exactly what you're doing. This was just kind of a quick run through to give you another idea of how to use the tools that I used in the last video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.